Welcome back everyone, this is Lee, and yes, today's the day we'll be tethering our mirrorless camera onto our iPad M2 with the Cast Cable app. So, with all that said, let's begin. So first things first, make sure you download the Cast Cable app for your iPad. I have it already downloaded right here. And next, make sure you do have a USB-C hub that's powered. You need a powered USB-C hub. So just make sure this is an anchor. I'll leave a link down below. Let me actually power this right now. I'm gonna plug in my cable right over here to power this hub. I'm gonna connect this to my iPad. Next, you would need a tether cable. I have the USB-C obviously for my Nikon Z62. Make sure you have the right tether cable for your camera. So I'm gonna plug this in. And I'm gonna plug this in. There we go. I'm gonna use my Batman Legos right here. I'm gonna place it right over here at the end of the table. Now, I'm gonna turn on my camera. It's turned on. I'm gonna turn on the app. I'm gonna connect new. Pick the brand. This is Nikon Z62. So I'm going to select Nikon's USB. And there we go. Now let's see. Oh, okay. As you can see, I could focus. There we go, it focused, I'll take a photo. And it should just appear right there. Let's see if it's on the actual, let me just turn off. Turn back on, reconnect. Boom. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Those are the two photos right there. So sometimes you do need to just turn off and on your camera just to restart the app. So there you go. Just some troubleshooting right there. No big deal. Let me take another photo. Number three pops up. There we go. And also the actual image pops up. Let me click done. I'm going to go back to the photo mode, take a picture from my app. There we go, look at that. Now, if you're doing like product photography, macro photography, indoors, in a studio setting, this is probably really perfect for a lot of you guys because you could change the settings on your actual iPad and you could just fire from the iPad. Now, let me plug in a SD card. Let me plug in to the anchor. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna do. So you could actually do a backup from the actual camera SD onto a separate SD or a hard drive if you want. Now, let me show you guys how to hook that up. Click the actual camera storage. Click this button down here. Actually, since I did this before, let me do this from scratch so you guys can follow along. So let's say I've never done this before. This is my first time doing this. You don't see anything popping up because you need, you need to actually hit add storage. Make sure you add the actual card. There we go, card is selected. Now, let me hit this button down at the bottom. I'm gonna select my Z62, which is on this camera, and I'm going to copy it to the actual external on the SD card and create link. Now you'll see that the SD card right here, this is my camera SD, and at the bottom is this SD card, which is this one right here. So let me take another photo. It appears again. Okay, done. Let me click the actual storage to show you guys. Okay, actually, you know what? Let me take another photo of something different. I'm gonna take a picture of this water bottle right here. One moment. Here we go. Water bottle is taken right there, and water bottle is right there. That's my Z62. Let me check out my storage and it's right there as well. And you could just scroll left and right and read the 24 megapixel raw files onto your iPad. And it's not storing in the actual iPad. It's storing here on the SD card and it's storing in your camera. So you don't need to worry about, you know, basically filling up your iPad. This is just a computer transferring the files left and right. Now, let me show you guys other things on this app right quick. You have your neutral density filter. You could do some star shootings right there. You also have your geo right here. You could tag where you're located at. 
Also, if you want, you could do your recipes right here. You could do some automation on this app. And also this app right here, it's about five bucks a month for a subscription and they do have a one-time fee. So that's definitely a thumbs up in my book. And if you're actually gonna be doing this on set, make sure you have something like this, the small rig. One moment. There you go. And uh, let me take a picture of Batman and the water bottle again. There you have it. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. Done. And there you go. The tapping app works just fine. It's pretty cool. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let me, let me do high speed. I don't know if that's going to work or not. <laughs> it does work. High speed does work. All right. Um, one more thing I want to show you guys before we go. So you could go to your gallery. You could click on whatever image you want. You could zoom in. And you could definitely take a detailed look on your shot. That is pretty cool. Instead of using this 3.2 monitor screen behind your camera, this is Nikon Z62. And uh, yeah, so you're doing product photography, macro photography, portrait photography. This will definitely work. If you're in the market for a bigger external monitor for your mirrorless camera and you have an iPad laying around, just get the Cast Cable app, get a tether cable, get an anchor USB hub, and you're good to go. So, with all that said, thank you guys for checking me back. Definitely click like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Take it easy. Peace. Uh, let me try my R5C. This is 45 megapixel. Hopefully it works. So let me attach this on one moment. All right, I'm plugging in the power to this unit. There we go. Photo on. I'm gonna plug this in here. Turn on cast cable. Camera's turned on. Let me plug in a SD card in here, of course. Or if I see got the SD card. This is 45 megapixel. Just keep that in mind. I'm going to select connect to new. This is a Canon now. So there's it's crazy enough, Canon has two options here. So this is definitely the first option, the EOS R SLR, USB plug. Hopefully it just works. Searching, I think it will work. Gotta work. Oh, it works. And it detects it's RFIC. Let's do it. Let's take a photo of Batman. So I'm gonna focus on Batman. Oops, ooh. Ooh, ooh, I forgot I have a 35 millimeter right here. Let me move back a little bit. Here, focus. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's snappy. All right. Crazy, 45 megapixel. Now I'm gonna hit done. Let me go and check out the folder, the pictures. Oh, all right there. Got a JPEG, you got the raw, JPEG and raw. Now, let me see if I could go to my tether mode. One second. Oh, I, I just exit out. Oh, look at that, I just reconnect again. It's pretty quick right there. Very intuitive. Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay, let me see. Done. Let me see what else I can show you guys right quick. Uh, you know what, let me go. Let me dial down. The actual, all right, 45 megapixel. You know what I'm gonna do, one second. I can find it again. Oh, it's right here. Oh boy, continuous speed plus. All right, <laughs> let's see this. <laughs> 45 megapixel right there. What? Let me, let me, I gotta check this, oh no. Yeah, it's all loading. Wow, it's that quick. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so so there you go. This works really great. So yeah, I like the fact that you could just zoom in with your fingers right quick. So if you'd like shooting a maybe a portrait of a family or, or maybe a subject, 
you just want to zoom in to see you got everything focused this is the way to go but uh but yeah that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> let me try it again oh man uh go back to photo <laughs> so crazy anyway anyways guys um it works with the canon works with an icon just make sure you got the right tether cable plug and uh yeah you're ready to go all right take it easy guys